The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode Number 5. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to next week's episode of The Mandalorian. Last week, another fantastic episode to add to the show, man. I absolutely loved it. It was a shorter episode, and, you know, we kind of stayed in a... A small we, we just stayed with the cover right it was great i liked it a lot of people said it was kind of you know it was a little bit repetitive with the whole monster attacking again and them having to go rescue somebody or take it down but i really liked it you know it it, it got to show bogatan what it was like to be a part of the group and to lead a mission and to gain the respect of some of the people uh you know um in the group which was cool to see you know, we learned a little bit about Paz Vizsla, his son Ragnar, which people are, I don't know if it's been confirmed or what yet. People, you know, I seen debating in the comments last week when I was watching, I just thought it was straight up his son. But people did say, you know, he could have been a foundling that Paz Vizsla kind of adopted similar to the way Mando adopted Grogu, which, you know, is very well true. But I don't know, maybe they'll answer that at some point in the show. Maybe it'll be answered in an interview because I am kind of curious now if that is his like blood son or if he was a foundling as well. But super great so far man i'm loving what we're doing it seems like again i think we're building to toward a rebuilding mandalore type arc which i hope happens this season but i wouldn't be surprised if it happened over the course of like this season and next season but regardless man i'm here for it i'm excited for it i hope we get into some more mythosaur stuff some more dark saber stuff because last week at the end bogatan you know she finally told somebody about the mythosaur she hasn't told you know mando yet but she did tell the armor which was cool to see and you know I don't know. I I hope we get back to it at some point, man. I hope she, either her or Din or both of them, you know, kind of tame it. And then he has the dark saber. She has that. And I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities for it, but I'm here for it. I'm excited for it. So guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. You guys will see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. We've got a construction boom going on in the city. I Ooh. Use with a prime tract right over by the hot springs. We coming back to Navarro this episode? Your cut of my boss's treasure that built this saloon. Is there a problem here, Magistrate? Bro, are we bringing back Davy Jones? I think so, man. Whenever they show these flashbacks, that means we're normally coming back to what's shown in them. Surrender your ship and I'll spare your life. Kid, Eep. never trust a pirate. Yep, taking notes, guys. Gorian Shard, man. Literally, Davy Jones had ass. I'm assuming he's coming back this episode. Either that, or maybe we're going back to Navarro. Maybe they're going to Navarro. Maybe launch an attack on him. And maybe Mando ends up going there to help or something along those lines. I don't know. IG-11 still haven't came back to that. I'm assuming, you know, he's just gone. I, I just... The IG-11 thing was kind of weird. It's like... If you're going to try and bring him back and, like, do that whole storyline just for him not to come back, I feel like it was a little bit pointless. Pirates. Hold on a second. Yup. Gorian Shard, maybe? Yeah, I think that's his ship. Pirates? You're being hailed, sir. You get the citizens to safety. I'll handle this. Well, how you going to handle this? You going to call, call our boy Mando in? Davy Jones had ass. Navarro is now under the protection of the New Republic. My charts indicate oh. that Navarro is an independent world. He's trying to bluff that. You can't bluff your way out of this one, Gaga. I Don't you... hail me again unless it's to surrender. Yeah, he said he didn't want to be part of the New Republic because he doesn't want to bow down to them. At first, I thought he maybe he did end up, you know, requesting a marshal from them, but... I guess he was just bluffing him. Mando and Bogotan, man, would be awesome to see them come here. Bro, they really are finna just start blasting, huh? Oh my gosh, dude, the effects look amazing. Ooh, I got chills. I love it, dude, I love it. Not not, not the fact that they're getting attacked, but how good it looks. Send out a directive immediately, let's go. Bro, all because his little henchman wanted smoke and play who got the bigger dick and shoot first. Like, ah. Uh. Dude, Mando's gonna come here and save him. 
I don't know if it's going to be just him and Bogutan, if we're going to bring, you know, the pirate, okay? Or if we're going to bring, like, you know, so, so, some other people from the, the covert, maybe Paz Vizsla or something, but he going to come here. Captain Taylor, we have been attacked by Pirate King Gorian Shark. You once offered that I might reach out to you. I am humbly requesting the New Republic to send a patrol to clear out the raiders. I'm afraid that our planet will fall and Shark will turn this into a pirate base. That's exactly what's gonna happen, man. I really thought Navarro was gonna make it. And for this to Coruscant, request permission to intercede. They haven't returned a dispatch in weeks. They're swamped. They'll never get an answer in time. Then I'm just gonna have to go there and talk to them myself. They can't ignore me face to face. Is that Zeb or just one of his species? This is post episode six, Rebels. He could still be alive, right? But Zeb looked so, he didn't look like purple in the Rebels animation, so maybe not. Maybe it is just one of his species, but his voice kind of sounds familiar. I wonder if that is him, bro. That's crazy if it is, but he looks completely different because he was not like purple in Rebels. Captain Tavy here to see Colonel Tuttle. Oh, bitch. This is how this is going to all start to connect, isn't it? You once offered that I might reach out to you. I am humbly requesting the New Republic to send a patrol. He don't even care. I get the gist. Have you ever heard of Navarro? I have. Spent some time there, in fact. They have yet to sign the charter. They're not a member planet. Navarro has reported accounts of stormtroopers in the streets and TIE fighters openly flying above. The citizens speak of Moff Gideon occupying the town, and now a pirate king is attempting the same thing? These yep. events could all be connected. That's why she's trying to block it off. The leaders of Navarro need to understand why becoming a Republic signatory is valuable. By letting them suffer. Sounds like a rather imperial way of thinking. Captain, you're out of yep. line. I can't stand her, bro. That smirk on her face, smug ass look. Ah, ooh. All these events, it's not coincidence. And by the time it becomes big enough for you to act, it'll be too late. Yep. I hate her, bro. I hate her. She makes my blood boil. Shout out to the actor for playing her so good, bro. Like, that, that smug-ass look on her face, everything. It pisses me off, bro. Like, oh my god, dude. Makes my blood boil. Oh! I wonder if maybe this is connected to, Mo uh, to, to, to Moff Gideon. You know what I mean? Maybe he, he's working with the Pirate King to get Navarro back. I know, obviously, the Pirate King, he's got his reasons for coming here because of what happened in the other episode. But I, 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 him saying that, I do think it can be, it, it could be connected. This is, oh, there you are. He was able to track Mando's place or Bogotan. I think he tracked her ship somehow. He's going to go to them for help. Okay. He must have tracked her ship because obviously he, uh, well, he did see Mando in his new ship, right? I think he did before. I know he saw him in the Razor Crest. But he said, there you are when he saw Bogotan's ship. So I think he was looking for her ship specifically. And out of coincidence, she happens to be here. Fortunately, someone I served with in the rebellion is amongst your ranks. Thanks, R5. Oh, him. That's right. That was the droid Mando had got, right? They're about to blow Navarro to hell. I'm calling a strike. We don't even have ships. Coruscant doesn't care. Cargo's your friend. You won't let him die. I know you'll relocate anyway, but you have my word. I will not reveal your location. Maybe this is how they're going to end up relocating back to Mandalore, right? But I mean, Mandalore, everyone's going to know where they're at, right? If they do that. Grief Karga is now a high magistrate and has offered me a tract of land on his independent world. Maybe they move back there. Perhaps it is time for us to live in the light once again on a planet where we are welcome. That's right. Instead of going back to Mandalore right now, they can chill on Navarro for a bit. I respect it. Who will stand and fight with me? I do. Ah, uh, pause. What you gonna say, man? He was there when back on Navarro originally, right, big boy? The question we should be asking ourselves is why? Why should we lay our lives down yet again? Because we are Mandalorians! I have had my disagreements with this man, but he risked his life to save my son. 
He got his respect last episode. <laughs> this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Is she gonna come out and fight too? Ooh, I'm starting to get excited. Then Jaren and myself will reinforce from above. If everyone acts as they should, we can use the element to surprise and defeat an enemy that outnumbers us. Dude! I love this shit, man. This is fantastic. You lived there once. Hiding in the sewers. But now, you can be heroes. You can live there above ground, man. That's why they showed him offering the land again to, to Mando. I love this, bro. This is great. We set up camp here. Come out in the light. Y'all don't even know what's about to hit you, bro. Look at that. You just see the way they treat life forms and stuff. Yeah, you hear that music, baby. Bro, I, I wonder what Karga's gonna do when he sees him, when he sees his ship. Yeah. It's the Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Davy Jones head ass, bro. He he has a dope design. I will say that. I do I do like his design. I think he looks good, but definitely Pirates of the Caribbean vibes. Bro, the N1 is so fast, it's insane. That Naboo ship, crazy. Aw, oh, Tim. Thanks for your help, Mando. I decided to take you up on your offer for a tract of land. Be careful, my friend. They've got you outnumbered 10 to 1. Probably more like 5 to 1. Once he gets his back up in here, baby. Yeah, baby! Oh, dude. This is, this is gonna be so cool seeing them all just drop out, use their jetpacks. <laughs> we here, man! Yeah! Snatched, bro. Snatched. Bro, we going in kind of silent, too. Good formation and everything. Dude, her ship is so badass. I love it. Pursue the other Mandalorian. Put them in ambush. Take cover. They're helping them out. You see what I mean? Oh no. They're gonna get sandwiched here, bro. We need some backup, baby. We're the rest. I know they don't have a ton. Yeah! Go ahead, boss! Coming in with that minigun! Wiping them out, man. He's just a walking fucking juggernaut, dude. Ooh! Yeah, at least they have their jetpacks so they can get up there, right? Those some heavy blaster shots too, bro. Those like 50 cal shots, but for a blaster. <laughs> Mando's still around, baby. He's below you. <laughs> He's right on top of you. <laughs> oh, 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 she gonna get her some the armor. Oh, dude. Her combat style's so dope because she uses different weapons than all the other Mandalorians. You know what I mean? She just uses her blacksmith stuff. That was dope. I don't think we've lost a single Mandalorian yet either. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm getting chills, man. Bro, they had Navarro for maybe like, yeah, here comes all the citizens too. They had Navarro for like, what, an hour? Maybe two? Open fire below. Oh, dude. They're just gonna start raining fire down like Thanos, man. Do as much damage as they can, bro. Bro said, if I'm going out, you're going with me. Dude, this is such a good shot, man. Look at that, dude. Ooh. That boy going down. The captain going down with his ship. 
it looks so amazing man the effects the cgi everything dude this is what happens man you mess around you gonna find out from this day forward i magistrate grief garga hi magistrate sir <laughs> hi magistrate grief karga hereby seed all land from the western lava flats to bullock canyon to the fine people of mandalore you may no longer have a home planet but you do now have a home welcome man i got chills bro Ooh, maybe more respect for this because she her and i know everybody played part but her and uh mando kind of led this mission a little bit right she was giving him instruction and stuff like that at the start or maybe she's gonna talk to her about the mythosaur oh we back in the sewers we choosing to come back down here i have been to the great forge on mandalore it was large and ornate and the air rang with the music of a hundred hammers and here stood a simple one remove your helmet do you respect my station? I, I do. Does she not want her to be part of the cover anymore? Or does she know it's not kind of the lifestyle she wants? Our people have strayed from the way. And it is not enough for a few to walk it. We must walk the way together. Oh, Mandalorians. I was taught that the Mythosaur existed only in legends. And yet, you saw it. It is a sign that the next age is upon us. Mm. Mandalore must all come together. You have walked both worlds. You are the one who can unite us. That's why she told her to take off the helmet. So we're not going to be so strict on the kind of rules anymore kind of unite all mandalorians together as opposed to just you know alienating every other mandalorian outside of the covert right because obviously we've met tons of mandalorians that take off their helmet right all the house is divided and whatnot she she looks like she feels so awkward pause is like hold up <laughs> okaton Kreese is going off to bring other mandalorians in exile to us so that we may join together once again new age Bo-Katan walks both worlds. And she can bring all tribes together. It this is, is the way. To retake Mandalore. <laughs> Come on, man. Ooh, we ain't even over yet. Oh, who are we going to? Carson? It's a New Republic prison transport. Mmm, Moff Gideon. Flight times match the ship transporting Moff Gideon. I yep. Like he never made it to trial. It's a fragment of Beskar alloy. Are you saying that Moff Gideon was taken by Mandalorians? Well, what Mandalorians would have taken him? Bro, the concept art for uh, Gorian Shard looks so dope. Um, okay, shit. Season three, episode five of The Mandalorian is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What an episode, bro. Fantastic. Absolutely loved it. What Mandalorians would have taken him? Um, not Sabine? Cause I, like the, I'm trying to think like maybe it, it could be one of two things. It could just be some random Mandalorians that took him right. Because we're starting to connect with other Mandalorian groups, obviously now, uh, not Sabine, uh, blah, 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 blah. Bogotan is going off to find other Mandalorians and kind of bring everybody together and unite them. Right. So it could just be another group of Mandalorians, another clan, another house, whatever it is that ended up taking him. We also, you know, we saw the space whales earlier in the season, right? 
I think we're kind of starting to connect to Sabine, Ezra, Ahsoka stuff, which is probably going to take place in the Ahsoka show, but maybe we see Sabine in this. Maybe she, in a group of Mandalorians she's with, possibly took them. I don't know. Possibly. Or it could just be a random group. It ends up being one of the uh, group of Mandalorians that Bogotan goes off and finds, but it's dope for them to, for the armorer to talk to her and tell her that, bro. Like, you know how strict they are with their kind of like cult religion type thing of not taking off their helmet and everything like that. So for her to be okay with that and allow her to walk both ways, you know, of the covert and kind of what she believes in, you know, is like her Mandalorian beliefs, like the Night Owl and everything like that. It's it's cool to see man it's like it's big change right she wants to reunite mandalore and bring get, get back to their home planet and bring everyone back together the armor wants to do that you know and like she she sees that rejecting other mandalorians that don't walk the same exact way from them isn't exactly gonna work you know like we got to bring everybody together somebody that's walked both ways somebody that's in both lives and she's like she said you know seeing her seeing the mythosaur it's like it's the sign of a new age coming, right? And this is maybe the new age. People that can walk both ways. They can walk the same way the covert does, where they, you know, never take off their helmet or they can choose to take off their helmet, you know, believe in some of the stuff. But at the end of the day, they're all still Mandalorians and they all live together, you know, in peace and kind of work together and as opposed to against each other, you know, which is cool to see because if you're going to rebuild Mandalore, you're going to need something like that, man. You know, like not everybody is going to want to walk the same way you guys do. Like all these Mandalorians have different beliefs. Like I said, you know, we've met plenty of Mandalorians that haven't taken off their helmets and we've met plenty of Mandalorians that have taken off their helmets. You know what I mean? Like look at Sabine. She had the dark saber at one point, you know, in, in rebels and stuff. And obviously, yeah, she did just give it away to Bogotan, but still like, We've met plenty of Mandalorians that do take off their helmet and stuff. So if we're going to reunite Mandalore and rebuild, you know, as kind of like a nation, so to speak, it's going to take a lot, bro. And it's cool to see that the armor or somebody like her who's that strict is, you know, representing that, allowing that to happen. Because had she not, like everybody in the group follows her and respects what she what she says. You know, I've seen people talking more so recently about like kind of this aurora around her and like who she really is and how how deep she is in this and stuff because you know she's been around for a long ass time dude and she obviously is like the at, at the top top of kind of this covert so to speak you know even above bogotan above mando and stuff like that so i wonder what her full backstory is bro and i i hope we dive into it a little bit more but it's cool seeing her fight dude you know she uses the tools that she uses to make the armor and stuff she fights differently she fights similar to the mandalorians but she just uses different weapons which is cool to see man whenever she gets into action it's dope to see but seeing them come here and take navarro back from the pirates absolutely amazing man i loved it like again i say this every time we have an episode like this just like last week I know this did push the story forward for sure. You know, it's allowing the Mandalorians to come back to Navarro. They have a new home where they don't have to be in hiding and stuff like that. You know, we're connecting to the other stuff that happened on Coruscant, which I'm sure is going to eventually connect to the Dr. Pershing storyline and whatnot. But all that aside, even if this was just like a, a random episode where it was just action, so to speak. You know what I mean? The Mandalorians coming here, saving them, freeing the planet from pirates, bro. I would watch that again and again and again. I just love seeing them work together. I love seeing them in action, man. It's fantastic, bro. But I guess that little reference that uh, Carson said, where he said they served together, goes back to that R5 droid unit. People said that was the same one from A New Hope that was broken when Luke and them were going to get it, and then they ended up getting R2. That was the same astromech i think i'm pretty sure because that's the one that mando got from uh old girl the one he got shipped from too and it's just cool to see that the little details right continue the, the the way they continue on small stuff like that into the story is so dope to see but fantastic to see the story progressing episode five i don't know how many episodes we're gonna have in the season i'm assuming like eight roughly around there because i think that's normally what uh normally what these mandalorian seasons are but great episode man i'm excited to see what we have in store for next week the show it just looks so good bro the effects the cgi everything it looks beautiful man i love seeing it it, it 
I can't get over it, dude. They did such a good job with this. I know some people don't really like The Mandalorian. Most people do love it, but I do see that, you know a handful of people that don't really like it too much. But for me, this is probably my favorite like current Star Wars thing going on right now. Like I do enjoy the other shows. Bad Batch is good. Obviously, you know, um, Rebels was good. Clone Wars was amazing. And I do have to start Andor, but bro, Mando, it's fantastic, bro. I'm loving it. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, also, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, guys? I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance full length reactions and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.